most people don't even realize there are four ways to separate clips in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you each and every one and how to reconnect clips when things get messed up. At the end, I'll show you a sweet keyboard shortcut for moving clips around without dragging connected clips out of place. Okay, the fastest way to separate your clips is to move your playhead where you want to separate the clip. So I'll put it right here on this video and then go up to trim and select blade or you can change to the blade tool by clicking on this pop-up menu here and selecting blade or pressing B to change to the blade tool. And now you'll see I have scissors. For some reason, the blade tool icon is scissors. Anyway, now I can cut or separate my clips. I'll just click where I want to separate them. And you can see here that we now have a separation. If I want to quickly change, I can just press and hold B and the blade tool icon will come up. And when I let go, it goes back to my select tool. So I'll press and hold B and then I'll cut right here. I can also move my playhead where I want to separate the clips or cut and then just press Command B and you'll see it cut it right there. I can also do that during playback. So while the video is playing back, I'll press Command B to cut my clip. And now you see I have three different edit points right here. You can also cut all the clips at once. So I've got three here and what I'll do is I'll move my playhead where I want to cut it and then I'll go up to Trim and I'll select Blade All or while I'm in the timeline, I'll just skim to where I want to cut all of them and I'll press Shift Command B and you'll see all three layers or clips were cut or separated. I can also separate just the clips I've selected. So I'll select this song and this top clip and then I can go up to Trim and select Blade or I can just move my playhead where I want to cut those and press Command B. And you'll notice it only cut the top and bottom layer or clip, but not this middle one. You can also separate or cut a clip by inserting another clip. So I've got my clip up here selected from the browser and I'm gonna move my playhead to the section where I want to insert it. Right here looks good. And I'll press W and Final Cut will separate this clip or cut it in two and insert the new one. I can also cut and paste. So I'll select this clip and I'll press Command X to cut it. And then I'll put my playhead where I want to insert it and press Command V. And you'll see that this clip has been separated into two different clips and it inserted this clip in between them. So what do you do if you want to reconnect clips? No problem. Just select the two clips that you want to reconnect and then go up to Trim and select Join Clips. And now those two are one clip forever and ever. So joining clips only works for clips that come from the same source media and the timing has to match up. So I can't join two clips like these two. I can't select these two right here, the hiker and the lake, and then go up to trim and join because they're two different clips. All right, I've changed the timing on this clip here. So we have the same clips, but the timing is wrong. You can see it jumps right here. So if I select those two and I go up to trim, I can't join them. The timing has to be just right. And you can tell that you have two clips you can join because the edit point right here in the middle has this dashed line going from the top of the clip to the bottom in the timeline. You can split audio clips the same way. I'll just put my playhead over where I want to cut it and press Command B. And now I have two clips. And then I can join them back together by clicking on Trim and select Join Clips. Now check this out. I've got my song down below the primary timeline and I'm going to select it and then press Command B to cut it. I have it into two sections. Now if I go up to Trim, I can't join clips. The cut has to happen in the primary storyline and I can't drag and drop these two into the primary storyline and then select them and click join clips. Separating the clips has to happen in the primary storyline like so. Here's my song. I'll press command B then I'll select the two and go up to trim and now I can join them back together. All right, here is a clip of me hey, talking. Dylan, and this is an AVCHD file. By default, Final Cut Pro groups the video and the audio together, but you can separate them and there's a couple ways to do that. The first way is to detach the audio. Go up to clip and then select detach audio or right click on your clip and then select detach audio or press control shift S and that will detach the audio. Now you see I have my video clip here and my audio clip down here. I can move this audio around just like any other clip. I can put it in the primary storyline so I can trim it and treat it like any other clip. Now, if you want to reconnect that audio, the only way you can do it is by pressing command Z or undoing that. If you're so far into your edit and to go back in your undo history is too much, then what you can do is select the two clips and turn them into a compound clip, which I'll show you how to do in just a little bit. But first I have to know, am I doing a good job or not? 
I love external validation, so please let me know with a thumbs up. Thanks. Now there's a way to separate video and audio without detaching it completely. Select your clip and then go up to clip and then select expand audio or right click on your clip and select expand audio or even faster press control S and you'll see you have video and audio here. But now I can't move the audio independent of the video and I can't move the video without the audio. What that allows me to do is I can extend my audio past my video or I can trim my video down and have my audio play during another video clip like so. To collapse your audio and video, select your clip and go up to clip and select collapse audio or right click on your clip, select collapse audio or even faster, the keyboard shortcut control S puts them back together again. You can also expand your audio into the different components. For example, there's two channels here on this audio. So I'll select my clip, click on clip and then select expand audio components or I'll right click on my clip and select expand audio components or I'll press the keyboard shortcut which is control option S and you'll see it separates the audio and video into all the different channels and if I want to collapse it back again I'll select my clip and click on clip and select collapse audio components or right click on the clip and select collapse audio components or press the keyboard shortcut again control option S all right, so how do we take care of mismatched clips? We wanna join them together, but they're not from the same source media or the timing is off. Okay, so I have a few clips here. You can see that even though this is from the same source media, the timing is off. And I've got this clip over here and I've got this audio clip down here. So how do we combine all those together? It's pretty easy. Just select all of the clips that you want to include and then go up to file, new, and then select compound clip or right click and select new compound clip or even faster, press option G to turn it into a compound clip. Give it a name and then press okay. And now all of that is just one clip that I can move around and I can edit just like any other normal clip in Final Cut Pro. If you don't want that compound clip, no problem, you can break it apart. Select it and then go up to clip and select break apart clip items or press the keyboard shortcut shift command G to break it apart. Okay, I've got a clip in the timeline with another clip attached to it. And you can see the connection right here. I can change that connection point easily by command option clicking. So I'll hold down command option and I'll click down here and you'll see the connection point changed. I can change it and put it anywhere I want on this clip. One of the struggles with connected clips is when I go to move this clip or change it, the connected clip goes with it. Or when I delete it, it deletes the connected clip with it. Or when I try to change the timing of my clip, like so, the connected clip moves with it. There's a way to edit quickly without messing up that connected clip. Just hold down the Grov key. It's right below the Escape key. And now, when I move this clip somewhere else, you'll notice the connected clip stayed in position. And now if I hold down tilde and press Delete, it deletes the clip but keeps the connected clip in place. Now if I press T for the trim tool and then hold down the Grov key while I change the timing of this clip, you'll notice the connected clip stays in position. As you dig into Final Cut Pro, you'll realize how important the magnetic timeline is. Most people, they wanna just turn it off, but don't do that. Learn to love the magnetic timeline with eight tools. Check it out.